Hey guys, how's it going? It's me again. Uh, just, just trying to get up actually, trying to get my act together this morning. Um, this uh, this video is titled "What Happens When You Run a Half Marathon with No Training." I think that's what the title is going to be. It's certainly going to be about that subject. Uh, we're going to cover the aftermath of yesterday's antics. Yesterday, I did something pretty crazy uh, but you know when I get an idea in my head when I have a mission a challenge to complete I'm not going to say I'm guaranteed to complete it but I'll certainly put in my best effort and that's what I did yesterday so I ran 25 k's along the Larapinta trail um, did during those 25 k's there was upwards of eight to nine hundred meters of elevation uh, I had a four hour cutoff time for me to qualify for a 65 kilometer ultra marathon along the same trail, just, uh, you know, almost three times as long. And, uh, you know, before they let you, before they, I mean, you can pay your entry fee, but they're not going to let you run unless you've at least proven that you can do something. Um, and in this case, it was proving that you could do 25 Ks, a certain section in under four hours and I'm really really proud really stoked to say that I did it but it certainly hasn't come without any um, side effects I'll say so right now man I'm just I'm laying in bed and I I've been thinking about making this video and I just thought you know what I'll grab the camera and I'll start this video laying where I am right now because I cannot be fucked doing anything and thankfully I've got the day off work so I don't really have to do anything it's 10 o'clock in the morning I'm telling myself I should go to the gym to, to lift some weights, uh, but you know, only time will tell whether I get there or not. But I did want to make this video. I did want to make this video to discuss the day after. You know, it's all well and good on the day. In fact, late last night I was thinking, holy shit, my legs feel perfect. I feel like I could go and do it again. Well, I didn't quite say that, but I mean, I was feeling. I was feeling fully recovered last night and then something hit me in the face this morning figuratively and that's DOMS delayed onset muscle soreness when you go and push yourself when you go and push a particular muscle group harder than you have done for a long time you will indeed suffer either on day one or day two or even day three or even for the next week some delayed onset muscle soreness and that's what I'm dealing with today so that's that's my legs and that is, you know, glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves. If we're talking about feet, my feet don't feel too bad. My ankles don't feel too bad at all. But I do have two fucking big blisters on the bottom of my feet. Bottom of my, my big toe. And I'm doing my best not to think about them. Um, I did consider popping them yesterday. Thankfully, I didn't. It seems that um, that fluid is, has been somewhat absorbed back into my body and all that's going to do is help with the healing process. So I haven't popped them. Um, the last time I did this 25k stretch I got a really bad blister and I popped it straight away and unfortunately that led me to like start picking at it and, and by the end of it the, the skin the skin was pretty much completely taken off in the early days, the first couple of days and what that meant is that it was not fully it was not fully healed for a good four weeks after that. So I had four weeks of fucking pain, uh, a loss of motivation because I couldn't run. And so that is the last thing that I want to happen this time because I'm, you know, slowly but surely getting my motivation back for, for, um, for running and long distance running and challenging myself physically uh, both in and out of the gym. So overall, it was a really, 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 really rewarding experience. I'm not going to lie, but... The recovery is going to take longer than I thought. I mean, yesterday I got home, I was absolutely ravenous. I was starving. And it wasn't for broccoli and fucking rice and, and chicken breast. Certainly not. It was for sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. My body was craving it. It was screaming out for sugar. And what did I give it? Well, I gave it some sugar. I uh, went to the shop, got some raspberry licorice, and I ate the whole entire bag. Did I feel bad for it on a normal day? Yes. Yesterday after burning like 3000 calories? Fuck no. I deserved it. So that was that was my immediate that was my immediately post run snack. Following that, um, I pretty much grazed the entire evening on all sorts of different things. Majority of them was carbs 
And it was because my body fucking needed it. You know, it needed it. It, it needed more. My body certainly needed more carbs for the run, let alone afterwards. So yesterday was, you know, it was pretty slow. I had to monitor the blisters. The delayed onset muscle soreness hadn't hit yet, but it certainly has today. And I apologize, guys, but I've completely and utterly lost my train of thought. And that's, you know, overall, I guess the main side effect that I wanted to portray, that I wanted to get across to you guys, is the overall uh, feeling of just lethargy. Lethargy? Lethargy? You tell me. Um, tiredness. Tiredness, man. I had... I had Oh, it was probably about six and a half, seven hours sleep last night. Normally that, that would be more than enough and I'd kind of get up and yeah, it might take me half an hour. Some some mornings it takes me an hour for me to actually think, okay, yeah, okay, my eyes have completely opened, the coffee's hit and I'm ready for the day. But today, that hour has just pushed out to two, pushed out to three and now we're coming up on four hours since I woke up and I don't feel any fresher than what I did. Like it's a real shock to the system. It's a real shock to the system and it's it's no joke. It is no joke taking on something like that with only a basic base level of fitness. But it just goes to show, man, it just goes to show if you've got a goal, if you've got a goal in mind and it, it means something to you, then it's, 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 uh, it's actually, it's fun. It's fun. Like something like that, like challenging myself, I actually feel like it's really fun. That's probably the most fun I can have. You know what I mean? And so it's really interesting to, to get to these points midway through a challenge, midway through a race, uh, midway through a, a 25k trail run. You're halfway through, you're in a, a very remote place, no one's going to come and help you. And it's, it, you know, there were times where I, I just, I almost stopped, I almost stopped. In fact, I, I sort of, I crouched down, right? And then I'd feel my legs just, all the blood just go back into my legs, you know, and I'd be like, oh, no, nah, that feels way too good. I've got to get up, got to get up, got to keep going. I can't stop. And it's in those times that mindset, bro, mindset comes into it 100%. And if you don't have a strong mindset, you'd probably give up after 5Ks. You'd probably give up when the first inkling of a blister or a sore ankle or some cramp sets in i went through all of that but because of mindset and because of a bit of music that i had playing in my ears at the time it does take your mind off of it and you've just got to focus on one foot in front of the other one foot in front of the other you know there were so many times there especially during the, the last like six six or seven k's where i thought this is just it's not going to happen it's not going to happen but you keep putting one foot in front of the other guys and you'd be surprised with what you can do just keep putting that one foot in front of the other Speaking of putting one foot in front of the other right now, it's a bit of a challenge. It's a bit of a challenge. I mean, even just walking here, the, the, um, the, the, the portions, the parts of my leg that, that hurt the most would have to be my glutes, uh, my hip flexor right in the front of my, my thigh. Calves seem to be fine. I should stretch them. I should. It'd be pretty stupid if I didn't. Um, so I'll get on to that. But uh, this is the aftermath, man. This is the day after. I'm alive. I'm in one piece. I pushed through cramps. You know, it's funny. When you get a cramp in your hamstring, you, you all of a sudden start to push sort of through your quad um, into the ground rather than sort of uh, on the balls of your feet. And, you know, that it's it's... It's a very interesting experience. It allows you, I mean, that three and a half hours, just you and the trails, right? It allows you to really get in touch with your body, really get in touch with the way that your body's feeling and each individual body part, especially on the lower half. And geez, I mean, I'll leave you with this. If nothing else, guys, if nothing else, I mean, this was a physical challenge, right? But the amount of, of courage it's given me, the amount of self-esteem, that it's given me to now move forward and possibly do something like that again um, relatively soon. You know, that's priceless. It was fucking amazing. I mean, the, the, oh God, it was so good. It was so good. And I recommend anyone else out there. I mean, seriously, look on Google maps, check out your local trails, your local mountains, uh, local, 
you know, hills, ranges, lakes that you could run around. Um, just get outdoors, guys. Get outdoors. Download Strava. Get some new running shoes. That's advice that I should give myself, actually. And, uh, and see what you're capable of. Have some fun. Log it. And try and improve. Life's all about improving. Life's all about goals. Without goals, you know, I, I struggle to see a purpose in life. And that's, that's some real talk. And so yesterday was just another goal to get me out of bed. You know what I mean? Get me, get me going. Get me fired up. And build this armor, you know. This, this armor that you, 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 you develop through adversity. And it's only self-induced adversity, which is different. It's different. That's enough from me. See you in the next video.